Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'm Dr. Morales, and today we're going to be discussing about fatigue and why does atrial fibrillation make you feel so tired? And we're going to break down some of the ways in which atrial fibrillation can make a person feel tired and what are the ways that I typically manage it to help improve some of this fatigue that can happen with atrial fibrillation. Now, feeling tired is a very common symptom that many patients describe to me, and it can happen because of a wide variety of health reasons. Um, First, they could happen because of having a, uh, things such as anemia, or having low or high blood pressure, uh, having uh, abnormal thyroid levels. So there are certainly a lot of areas that are not related to atrial fibrillation which can cause people to feel tired and fatigued. So always discuss those other uh, areas with your doctor. But when it comes to atrial fibrillation itself, what are the ways in which atrial fibrillation can make somebody feel tired? First is the heart rate. Uh, for somebody who is in atrial fibrillation, especially with atrial fibrillation consistently, you always intermittently have to monitor your heart rate. And your heart rate, if it's consistently going elevated, if you're much more commonly to be over 100 beats per minute, 100, 110, even 120, you can imagine how tired that can make a person feel. It's like as if you're running a race all the time and it makes people feel very tired if your heart rate is consistently going more rapid than usual. Uh, very routinely I have my patients who are in AFib consistently. We're a 24 hour monitor just to see how overall the heart rate is controlled to make sure that you're on the proper medications to make sure that your heart rate is not going too fast. Number two is what is the overall strength of your heart? AFib can affect the overall strength and pumping strength of the heart in a variety of ways. It can make the heart weak in what's called congestive heart failure and a weak heart can certainly make a person feel tired. And in those cases, controlling the heart rate or potentially getting a person out of AFib can improve the strength of the heart and improve this kind of fatigue, tired feeling. In addition, even when the heart function is overall normal, there can be elevated pressures on the inside of your heart, which can then make people feel short of breath or even tired as well, which most of, that with, most of those things, such as the strength of the heart and the pressures inside of the heart, can be best tested with what's called an echocardiogram. That's an ultrasound of your heart, which will tell your doctor how strong your heart is and how the pressures look like, look like inside of your heart to see how the AFib may be affecting your overall heart functions. Now, let's say if your AFib is well controlled, your muscle strength of your heart is perfectly normal. You know, what other things can make people feel tired? Well, the third thing is medications. You know, the medications for atrial fibrillation can commonly cause people to feel atrial fibrillation, I mean, to feel f fatigued or tired. Now, one of the most commonly used medications are beta blockers. Uh, beta blockers such as metoprolol or carvalol or rotenolol, one of the most common side effects is this kind of run-down fatigue feeling. They're a bit of anti-adrenaline medications, so they can certainly make feel, people feel tired all the time. Uh, so if your heart rate is well controlled, your heart functions overall well, uh, look into the medications and discuss with your doctors if there's alternative medications because some may make you feel less tired than, than others. And one of the last things that can make somebody feel tired, let's say we've, you've adjusted your medications, your heart rate is well controlled, the strength of your heart is perfectly normal. Uh, one of the other things is just the atrial fibrillation by itself. Even if everything is well controlled, the atrial fibrillation by itself can still make a person feel tired. And how is that? Uh, well, the atrial fibrillation uh, takes away the natural contraction of the upper chambers of the heart. In normal rhythm, the upper chambers of the heart beat together and coordinated to push blood down into the lower chambers of your heart. And that atrial kick is, can contribute to about 20% of the blood flow that goes through your heart. So you can imagine not having that upper chambers of your heart in sync can reduce the efficiency of the blood flow in, in your heart and can certainly cause people to feel tired. So sometimes it's just the atrial fibrillation by itself. So what can be done in those settings? Um, when somebody is just feeling tired, but the rest of the numbers look okay, the heart rate looks okay, the heart function looks okay, but they're consistently feeling tired, I frequently do what's called a cardioversion. A cardioversion is a shock therapy where we shock your heart back into normal rhythm. And it's a bit of a trial and error. You know, I, I, I tell the patients, well, to know if AFib is what's causing you to feel so tired, the only way to know for sure is to try to get you out of AFib. And a cardioversion is overall straightforward way to try to get you out of AFib to see if it makes a difference, to see if it changes anything about 
how you feel. And I'm going to discuss more in my next video segments about cardioversions, about how those procedures uh, work to see if it may be the right, uh, right procedure for people who have persistent or consistent atrial fibrillation. But these are sort of my treatment strategies when somebody comes to me who has complaints of persistent fatigue, persistent tiredness. There are many ways in which atrial fibrillation can make a patient feel tired and there are several ways to potentially manage it. So always please discuss with those with your doctor. And if you are constantly feeling tired uh, from your atrial fibrillation, it's been improved with other medications, you know, please leave a comment in this video so that other people can see how uh, your strategies have improved your, your quality of life. Thank you for visiting this video segment for Dr. AFib. I'll see you next time.